Hello everyone, Manufa Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Emperor Palpatine Deluxe Edition. Guys, this is episode 2 of our grill series and I have to tell you, episode 1 which was Han Solo and Chewbacca was a huge success. So please let me know in the comments below if you would like to see another figure. Right now we have Chirrut and Jin Erso, so let me know which one you want to see first. But before we start, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hatos releases, posting videos, figure previews, and now comparison videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. All right, guys, enough of the talking. We came here to see Palpatine, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, and here we have the packaging. And as you can see, we have the picture of Palpatine in the front, Emperor Palpatine here at the bottom. This is the side of the box, and nothing here with just the Star Wars logo. This is the back with all the crescent warning, small pieces, do not eat it. This is the other side of the box, nothing there. Now, last but not least, we have the bottom, Star Wars, and of course, the top with the Star Wars logo. All right, guys, so now let me take everything out and take a closer look at Palpatine. All right, guys, and here we have Palpatine, and as you can see, this guy is badass. I really like that head sculpt and the outfit. Now, let's get my take and see how tall this figure actually is. And Palpatine is about 11 and a quarter inches tall. Now, taking a closer look at Palpatine himself, you can see this head sculpt, guys, is beautiful. You can see that smile, creepy smile, a lot of wrinkles, of course. I really like the paint application on the eyes. And as you can see, the hair is nicely sculpted as well with a kind of like a darker gray uh, color. Very nicely done. If you put this down, you can see the detail as well. So very nice job by Hat Toys. This is the profile and that smile, guys, is very creepy. You can see all the wrinkles and of course the teeth. And this is the top of the head sculpt. And that's basically it for this awesome awesome head sculpt all right so let me put the hoodie on and go over the outfit itself so you can see this piece here very nicely sculpted as well and of course the tunic underneath the rope and as you can see it is a nice material very soft and this is more like a, a darker gray then we have the sleeves which is wired so that's a huge plus if you want to do some awesome dynamic poses which we're going to do later in the video so stay tuned for that now let me let me open this up and see the pants because i don't think i've seen it before and as you can see, we have the pants and looks like he's like a fat suit there. Pretty weird. And then we have the boots, uh, very nicely done as well. You can see one piece, but you have articulation. So that's a good, that's a good thing for this figure. So that's basically it for the inside ropes or the inside uh, tunic for this figure. Now you can see the wrinkles on the hands, very nicely sculpted as well. And of course the back of the tunic and this is wired so that means that you can do really cool poses with this figure and the hoodie as i said before and of course the hoodie is also wired so you can pretty much um shape it any way you want so it does look very nice now for the articulation you can move the head up this much down this much to the sides this much now for the arm so let me see if i can do it you can lift it for about this much you can move it forward for about this much and of course back for about this much not bad then you can bend the elbow around this much and of course you have the classic peg articulation on the hand now moving on to the torso so we have a little bit of swivel and a little bit of up crunch so it's really not that much and you don't need it because it's palpatine then you have at the leg so you can do a split for about this much and of course the clothing is the i guess the limit you can leave the leg for about this much and back for about this much so really not bad you can bend the knee around this much and of course you have the ankle pivot up and down and to the side so it is one solid piece but still you can have some articulation because the boots are fabric so that's a good good thing all right guys so now let's take a look at the accessories and here we have the selling piece of this deluxe set which is the throne and i really like the detail you can see the side here which it is uh, you can light it up so that's a huge thing this is the inside and then of course the other side now you can see underneath we have the white lights on top and you can see this is the top of the chair 
this is the other side and the back pretty much one solid piece which is nicely painted now this is the bottom which you can actually remove so you have access to the battery compartment and the on and off switch so if you turn this on you have some lights on on the side yellow and red same as the other side and of course the top is white as you can see here the yellow and red and that's basically it now taking a look at the base this is just a very simple star wars base so really nothing new in this area with the lucasfilm ltd logo underneath for the next accessory we have the cane pretty much one plastic uh piece really not much to talk about as you can see very shiny then we have the lining effect and this is actually pretty good i really like this purplish with translucent um, color so it does look very nice especially when you do that particular effect with Palpatine's hands last but not least we have the lightsaber or Luke Skywalker's lightsaber rather this is just the hilt so we don't have the actual saber ignite but it looks very nice and of course the hands we have two pairs so this is one of them and as you can see very nice paint application very nice sculpted as well you can actually see the vein so that's kind of creepy and then you can see this one as well and the detail on the nails is really really cool all right guys moving on to the comparison we have palpatine next to count dooku and as you can see count dooku is really really tall for the next one we have um palpatine next to anakin skywalker this is the dark side anakin also known as darth vader and of course last but not least i have to include yes you know the one and only darth vader and this is from the empire stress back which is one of my favorites all right guys so now let's do some poses Alright guys, to wrap this up, I have to tell you this Emperor Palpatine is amazing. I mean, the likeness is perfect, the articulation is really good, and the amount of accessories is amazing, as you can see with this awesome, awesome throne. And because of that, my final score is 9.5 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, we have a membership going on in the channel, so if you want to become a member, make sure you hit the join button for awesome, awesome perks. Also, we're going to have a live stream this Friday at 9pm Eastern with my friend Eris from Siskel Cantina, Desi from Metamorphic Costumes, Sergio from Gemini Toys, and our special guest Jamie from JB Collection. So I really hope to see you guys there. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and my Facebook group Six Skill Media. For anything related, once it's called figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video. <laughs>